Hey guys, I bet you're like me where you probably have a whole bunch of projects backed up or, you know, stuff you haven't gotten to. Like, I probably have over a hundred uh, rail car kits I never touched. And but here's a couple things I want to do real quick. I got this not too long ago. It's a uh, Walters... I can't remember what the line is. It's a low-end line. But it looks plasticky. So what I'm going to do is take some Tamiya doll coat and actually uh tester's doll coat is pretty good too, I think. Give it a shot of doll coat. That tends to really get rid of a plasticky looking model. It's the quick and easy way to make it look more like it's a painted model. So I'm going to do that. Maybe weather the inside a little bit. And also I got this, uh, get that out of the way. On eBay, this 3D printed work truck, you know, the, the high rail. It's got the little down there train wheels. And this is made by Phantom Hobbies. I believe they're uh, in the Buffalo area. And here's a, different types of light bars. But I'm not going to use these. I'm actually going to find like little true translucent uh, strobes if I do. So I put that on and use that. So just look more a little realistic. Because I don't think these will... At least I don't have the ability to make something like this look realistic with paint. And this all comes apart. Pretty cool. All these little bits and pieces. And then the cab pulls out. So I'm going to go outside and give this all a coat of white. And then from there, I'll just start hand painting all the little fine details. Okay, so I did dull coat this. As you can see, it kind of lost the uh, plasticky look to it. Did the bottom too. But like I said, from here on, you can uh, weather it more. Plus, when you put dull coat, the weathering powders or whatever you want to put on tends to bite, as they say, a little better. So this does look nicer. It doesn't have that shiny plastic vibe to it. And I also got uh, painted these white. You can really see the details. And I started painting like the uh, aluminum areas. I just used the Posca paint markers just to add some color to it real quick. And here's the interior. Now with this... And it goes in here. But you see there's like a little, right in there, there's a gap. See right there? And I was looking at pictures, and a lot of them don't have the smokestack. I know it's like, uh, especially No Folk Southerns. You can easily leave that off, or cut the back off. And actually, that doesn't look bad without the stacks, I don't think. I think. So, I just might cut, you know, the stack pieces off and just use the interior. And I started working on this, a little bit of uh, painting the details and color. And here's, I think this is a generator. And of course I taped it bottom up like an idiot. So I'll have to touch that up. But I started doing a little color work on that. And these two insert pieces. So I'll keep on uh, just painting it and uh, show you where I get with it. We'll slowly get this truck together. All right, so I took this uh, light rust weathering powder. Take this brush and dip it in here. And just worked it in here. Just back and forth, just rubbing, working it in. And it gave the, uh, a little bit of a worn interior. Nothing big. But, like I said, got rid of that kind of like shiny plasticky vibe this thing had all right so we've been working on just painting bits of this and i did decide to take off the stacks the exhaust stacks and i filed and filed and filed the back of this and i filed the front of it because there's a little bit of a curve if i can't see in there but to make this fit nicer and I've been painting the front part and the wheels rusty. And I'm working on these little bits in the back. What I do is I, I do one color, then I go do another color, and I kind of go back and forth until it cleans it up so you don't get the smudgy, run-over look. So I just keep working, you know, going back and forth, touching up. Cause I'm, that's how I do it. Maybe you do it differently. I'm not the world's greatest painter and I know as I gotten older man this small stuff's getting tough 
like these, I have to go back and do more of the gray on the ends. So I get it right where I want it to, you know, it looks, you know, nice and clean and crisp, the paint in a way. So, you know, it's just a work in progress. So I just, you know, in the evenings, I just slowly work on it. But something I want to try, you see me use this panel accent color. So let me take it off camera real quick. I want to put a little bit of it in the white part of these wheels. Just see if it, uh, you know, just a touch. Just to see if it really pops the, like, you know, the um, lug nut looks on it. So I shook it up. Like I said, this stuff doesn't take a lot. So let me get a piece of uh, paper towel. I'm going to dab it. So I'll take a little bit out. You know, if it's too much, we'll just uh, repaint it white again. That's not looking too bad. Because you, you realize the wheels always get really dirty quick. These guys are in dusty, greasy environments. And this stuff usually dries a tad lighter than when you initially put it on. So... Hopefully you'll dry a little lighter than what we're getting right now. But you know, that's not too bad, I don't think. Just helps pop the uh, details a bit. Like I said, it makes it a little grimy, but you know, whoops, it just messed up. Too much on there. Soften. There we go. All right, that worked out pretty well. So yeah, I gotta continue. Do more detail. I did the horns a little bit. And I want to put yellow for the lights, and I have to do the headlights. I think I might do. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the grill. But I gotta work on more of the silver, you know, like the the steps here and the uh, tanks. The tanks and stuff. I got one layer of paint. I do another one, make it look more like uh, aluminum kind of thing. All right, I'll continue on. Okay, so I've done more painting. I put more silver on. Then I use that panel liner to kind of make it a little dirtied up because you know, where you put fuel in, there's usually fuel runs, and then that you know, especially diesel fuel gets greasy, and then dirt collects to that pretty quick. I got the front winch. I put the panel liner on that. Just to pop, make the details pop. I do want to put uh, some of those clear testers on the headlights. Make like this plastic lens on it. But I'll wait on that. Uh, I put windows in. I'll take the cap off. Just on the back. I got a driver in there. Had to cut off pretty much most of his body to fit him in there. Uh, put a windshield on and wipers, just to make it look more, you know, more realistic. There's a window in the back. And I, uh, hold on to that. I haven't glued anything down yet. Paid more of the details, still got a little more touching up to do, but pretty much done. And uh, I got some decals from CMR products. You can find them online. They have a lot of nice decals. But these are No Folk Southern Maintenance Away truck decals. I'm thinking I'm going to use number 77454. Put it on the door right there. I can give this a coat of uh, probably semi gloss. I don't know if it, put in dull. If everything was dull, I don't think it would quite look right because these trucks usually aren't dull. I mean, there is a little bit of a shine to them. But uh, pretty much, you know, call it done. Everything, you know, glue it all down. Put the decals on, final coat, and uh, this is pretty much done. Okay, so I got the decals on, as you can see right there, and I'm going to put a clear coat on this. So I've made a little mask for the windshield, so if it hazes a little bit on the outside, it looks like, you know, where the wipers have wiped is clear. 
and the edges are like kind of dirty. And uh, you know what? I keep finding more things I want to put on this, making it more complex instead of a simple build. And I was looking through my parts for side view mirrors, and I don't have any for trucks. But I did find was get focus these little staples. So I drilled holes along the doors, and I'm going to insert the staple like such, and I'm going to glue. You see the frame. I'm going to glue some uh, styrene to represent the mirror, and I'm thinking about getting some. Uh, if I have some stairs, tin foil. And go a little bit of tinfoil, look like a mirror. So I'll have side view mirror, so I have two of those. There's one there. An interesting thing that, whoops, that I did find, I had two uh, clear amber strobes. I don't know where I got those from, but they were, I have a box of, you know, little truck parts. And they were in there, so I'm like, okay. So I drilled out holes on top here. So we'll have two strobes. And then check this out. I drilled a hole in the center, right there. This is one of my cat's, there we go, whiskers I found on the floor. So we will take this. Of course, I'll trim it down. It's not gonna be this tall. But if I get a clear coat on, we'll just put it in there. And probably trim it, you know, right about here. And we'll have an antenna. All right, let me go put a uh, clear coat on this. All right, to make our side mirrors, I got two pieces of uh, scrap styrene that I kind of shaped, mirror shaped. As you can see, they're small. Here's a little piece of foil. Now, this is the dull side, there's the shiny side. So, we're going to glue these to the dull side. So, we're just going to a couple of drips, good old super glue. Don't have to be worry about uh, being neat. So just make sure we got enough on there, and then we press on the styrene, and the glue will spread out. One and two. And we'll just press down. This way we get good coverage. And this will be the back side of the mirror. So that'll be painted black. And we'll glue it to our uh, frame piece here. Like this, now it'll be black too, and then we'll mount it on the truck. It'll make more sense once it's all put together. Okay, I went ahead and cut these out from the uh, foil and glued on the staple. Now I'm just going to, uh, hopefully with this paint marker, paint these black or not. The reason I'm using a paint marker is because my jar of black paint, I cannot get open. So, and this isn't working out too well either. There we go. So anyways, I'm gonna continue on, get both of these painted black, and then we'll uh, attach them to the truck. All right, I got everything glued down, the body and everything. Put on the glue down the strobes, the antenna, which I painted titanium silver. You can see right there. And the base is painted black a little bit. So the mirrors are painted. So you can see they reflect on one side. So, a little glue. It's not focusing, is it? Anyways, a little glue there and there. There we 
go. There's one. And we'll put this one on. comes out. Come on. There we go. Okay, and once that dries, the last thing I'm going to do, at least I hope so, because man, this is going on forever, hasn't it? It's going to take the uh, clear tester's glue, and put a touch of it on the headlights, make it look like there's a headlight lens. All right, glue's dried on the mirrors, and I pull the uh, tester's clear window glue on the, wind the headlights, so you can see they're a little shiny. So I'm calling this... Uh, done I did do some weathering and stuff and I put uh, actually that panel liner I put it the brown on the tires make it sort of a little dusty it's more of a shine than I like but eh, I'll live with it all right I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me put this together and it actually came up better than I thought it was gonna be after I found some of these parts so uh, I'll leave a link in the description if I find it to the uh, company that made, makes these because I think they just sell on uh, eBay. I'm not sure I'll look. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.